Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Uh, today I'm going to show you a type of way that to make a weapon, I don't know, sometimes kids ask for an axe. Yeah, that's it, an axe. Especially boys. And maybe I was thinking now it may be more of them now that it's coming Halloween and it can be a very fast line twisting choice. It's never that hard. I, if someone asks me for an axe, I always make it. But then I was thinking, okay, let me see an axe. And so then I have better idea what it is exactly. So before, you know, like if you make something like this, yeah. So that was kind of my first attempt thinking of an axe. And also what I'm thinking is something fast to make. So this is one idea, you know. And then there are so many different other ideas, but my intention is to do less twist possible and at the same time for line twisting. So this is an axe with two balloons, okay? And it's gonna be inflated pretty much both all the way. So I'm gonna start, if you have chrome, better yet, uh, silver chrome, but I don't, I run out of silver chromes, which is like, wow, I have now chrome gold, but a lot of kids want the silver chrome because especially I use it for what is lightsaber. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Halloween is about to start. I'm thinking I still have the whole September, but I'm start thinking, you know, that I'm already have some events booked. So I'm thinking line twisting always is gonna be things that one thing you don't have to do much sharpie time and uh, less balloons, you know, possible and less twisting. So then your hands don't hurt tired because there's gonna be days on Halloween season that I'm gonna be twisting all day, all day, literally. So it's gonna be long days twisting. So better keep some things easy. So this one is gonna be the design we're gonna make. Look how cool, and it's really not much add. The twisting, this is spiral thing, but then uh, it's something cool, and I think it's gonna be easy to remember for me. And it's very, you know, like a sturdy there, you know, like kids are gonna be just doing this, pretty much. <laughs> and I like it, I like it. Uh, and this is gonna be my representation of an ax, okay? Tell me in the comments what do you think, and now let's start it. What I'm using here, if you have a 260 brown, gray, if it's Decomex 160, cool, because this is a Decomex 160, and I like it. But if you don't have 160 Decomex, go ahead with a 260, any other brand. Um, then this silver again, or gray, it will be a good idea. So I have gray, okay? So both balloons inflated all the way. So that's gonna be the fun part, because especially if you have a, uh, Floor pump, like those builder pumps, you know, this is gonna be super fast. Inflate the balloon all the way, super fast. Then loosen it. Imagine this is gonna be the thing. I'm imagining I'm making a flower, but it's not really a flower. So look, I tied it together. How you make the six pair of flowers? Loosen it, tied it together, and then you're going to make something like look like this and like this, right? Make sure the last one is a little slightly bigger when you make the six pair of flower. And the last one is a slightly bigger. You see? Then you're gonna twist and twist this part too. And then these two are gonna kind of like twist together, pam, pam. So then it stays there. And this part, the longer one is gonna go through here and it's gonna kind of like then make a shape, something like this, look. Or maybe we can wait and do this at the end, but there's gonna be some shape here, like we're gonna just pinch, you know, and then let it go. But so far you have this. And then I was thinking, you know, that 260 or 160 brown, is gonna, the brown balloon is gonna go through here, like here, like this, and then it's gonna go all the way to the bottom. And that's pretty much it is. I think this can be also a fun technique. Inflate your balloon, brown, all the way again, the same idea, even if it's all the way, always lose some air. So then everything is gonna be easy, okay? That's a, uh, always I give you this. A split in half, twist, it's gonna help you to keep, you know, the half of the balloon, and then pass it one in each side, look. Okay, pass it and play to connect it, uh, find it the other way, look, okay, 
this can be one way and now thinking about it there is other ways of course every time you make something look how this can be looking at how this could be play with that but um now pull all this pull and this is one way i'm now looking another way so i'm going to show you because while i'm making this i'm also experimenting so you connect it there and go to one of the sides not to the middle one to the side so look how things are looking now okay this is okay so when you are here now you can even play with this to make it more straight and pointy the down part is going to be even more pointy so you're going to grab it pinch twist and then let it go okay so you're going to have a shape like this and you can create this shape also up okay the same idea if you want pinch twist and then let it go so you're gonna give it some more shape like this and with this pretty much what you need to do is just spiral as tight as you can look so that way it looks something more sturdy sturdy you know twist look twist and then one of the bubbles passes in between so then it gets low and this is my representation of a cool line twisting axe now this is one way okay the other way i was already noticing when i started doing this i was thinking wait a minute there is another way why not let's try it and maybe faster because that's what we're looking for so i'm gonna to untwist this okay so because i'm trying to save balloon <laughs> and you know i shouldn't right it should be cecilia come on do it again so we can see the difference i know i know guys but these balloons are more, you know, like, I need to try to say, but remember guys, I always happy to share and use more balloons, but always expecting, please try to collaborate with this channel. That way I don't feel that bad. I feel like, yes, let's keep using balloons. Um, I'm gonna use again and do this much faster, okay? I'm gonna go with a 160 decomex because I, that's what I have, I wish I had more. Mm. And then gray, 260. You can try with other colors and as soon as you make it you know for the picture and you menu them you can play maybe for di with different colors even pink and purple you know kids sometimes just go with different colors and it's totally fine you play them all the way you belong lose some air so it's easier to twist okay and then you kind of have this there okay now let's go with the other one the gray 60 you play it all the way okay always lose some air because you're gonna tie it together imagine like it's the same idea as you're making the six petal flower okay you tie it and then from here you kind of like do this i usually twist this part but in this occasion you just need to kind of like measure this part like this and always that last loop is longer so that is fine now you have these intersections here so you twist them and then you twist the one so then you have the two first ones and the longest one leave it to the end and these two kind of like roll it in between together so then things get locked and then this is gonna go but uh, kind of like open it and grab all you know it's also the same idea as you make uh when you make uh, what was it? a pumpkin yeah if you use orange this is kind of pretty much a pumpkin and then a green stem totally can work that way but this is also an axe idea if you use gray and now you have all these to play and this is what i was thinking what about in order to make it faster you split this in half and start making from this moment that the axe Keep twisting, keep twisting like the axe, like the axe. And this is an experiment. When you have something that you think, okay, this can totally go in between. It may be faster now to connect these two to here. Now again, I'm using my elbow. And maybe, you see, I'm glad I'm trying because it may think, oh, Cecilia, maybe it's not that easy that way. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it is, maybe not. And then when I'm here, what I'm just thinking is just closer. Okay, and lock it. The only thing is, maybe it's not that clean as the first idea, but it's it's not that bad. 
okay? So you have something like this, and then this part, you can, again, play with that. You split it in hand like this, the part that goes on the bottom, grab it, pinch, twist, and then let it go. So it's gonna have, and the same here, this angle, pinch, twist, and let it go. So now, I'm gonna show you both so you can see, okay? What do you think? Pretty much is the same. Uh, you tell me if maybe you prefer what is faster for you, but it's pretty much the same idea. If you inflate more air, it's gonna look much bigger, the axe, I guess, but both are cool. Kids are, I think it's a cool idea to make an axe. The other thing I like is the fun way when you find a fine design that it's fun to twist, you know, this is kind of cool, I like it. Okay, so now it's up to you. What do you prefer? How do you want to start with the axe? You see, um, both ways are cool. I'm okay with both ways. So you decide which one is your favorite. Um, just tell me, you want to start, you know, splitting half and then pass everything and then you get here and then just go in a spiral. I think for me that will be easier. This one is more like, okay, make sure you grab your arm, keep it locked so then that thing doesn't have any twist. So I think I like the idea to first pass the balloon to the half each side, right? And then go in a spiral. That it starts with the spiral and then go up and twist it. So I don't know. You tell me what do you think? I think I prefer this one, the first way we made it. And I hope you like it. I like it, you know, and that's when I happen. Sometimes things doesn't have to be that elaborated to be cool, to work for kids. Really, you make one of these, I'm sure lots of kids say, I want the axe, I want the axe, I like it. <laughs> Always, for Halloween, you can make things more scary. You can just make some blood. You want to see how it will look? Well, if you have a red Sharpie, here you can always kind of like go at the end with some red. Just something like represent, oh, it's bloody, you know. And it can be creepy. Some people don't like to play with that idea, but... You can try, you know, you can make it more scary, like, like, I don't know how to make blood more scary, but um, it's just an idea. And Halloween, it's coming, so you can even put a sticker here, you know, or here about Halloween or a star or something to add something simple. With the stickers can make it more, much more better. With some Sharpie can make it much more better. Um, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and please belong on the description of all my videos. You will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel because it's thanks to your collaboration that this channel can be much better. I have a Venmo account, a PayPal account, donating money. It's a good idea because that way I can buy things that I know it will be great. One goal I have, I think this channel needs already a laptop or a tablet, or, you know, something extra than just my cell phone. Because while I'm filming, if I have a tablet with me, I will be able to check things and it will make things much easier for me. Especially for, you know, do some like live videos or um, in the moment that I'm filming the videos and I remember something I can tell you right away and I'll say, you know, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know the word. I don't know how... To, I will just have, you know, an extra thing, uh, internet to have access to Google and check it out right away. That's what I'm thinking. Um, don't forget, follow me on TikTok because that would be awesome to make videos on TikTok, like live videos. That would be a cool thing. Mm, what other thing? Is check it out all the videos. This is one of the easy line twistings. Yes, it's super fast. But I have in this channel really cool, much more elaborated things. The thing is, I already think this is cool. Yeah, I think this is cool. And I kind of enjoy it more and I feel better than this, you know? And this is a little bit more elaborated, but this axe is much better for me. I don't know, it's easy. Sometimes things doesn't have to be that elaborated to be, oh wow, cool, okay? This is, I don't really like it that much, but it is what it is, you see? It's like, we have some, lots of techniques here and this both are crazy thing but with this axe you know i like it i like it i like it i like it <laughs> i like it a lot okay okay i'll see you in my next videos uh stay tuned subscribe to the channel and also hit and click the notifications it's the bell hit that 
click it that way you will see whatever is going on if it's a live video i try to let people know as soon as i know <laughs> i'm gonna go into a live video here on youtube there is a lot of videos already that it's been live videos and you can participate with your comments with your ideas and at that moment we can all you know kind of like make things together this channel is a lot of much better when you collaborate also with your comments no matter even what you say your comments can help a lot just to say hi hey comment number one number two number three you know why because youtube kind of makes uh it's process to see okay let's share this video it's a lot of people commenting it must be good it doesn't really matter much what it says the comments anyways i see you but if you have good ideas or ideas you know things or questions also leave it in the comments because i can read it and if it's something important i will you know, also pay attention on that and reply as soon as i can okay okay now for sure ciao ciao bye bye